More details in campaign 2016 now. Now that the Republican National Convention has ended, the attention turns to the Democrats. And today, we checked in with Rhode Island's congressional leaders to see when they'll be heading to Philadelphia and what Rhode Islanders can expect. When the balloons dropped, the Republican National Convention in Cleveland came to an end. All eyes now moving to Philadelphia for the DNC to get underway. The podium Hillary Clinton will accept the nomination was revealed today. I think it's going to be a, a very, very good convention. Rhode Island's two senators and Congressman Jim Langevin spoke to me today about the upcoming DNC. Uh, I doubt very much we'll be chanting, lock him up. Sheldon Whitehouse says it'll be very different from the RNC. Outgoing and inclusive and positive. Um, message coming out of our convention than uh, the, I don't know what you'd call it, that was their convention. White House will be there for it, as will Langevin. We, certainly we are going to uh, make history by breaking a major glass ceiling, having the first woman nominated uh, by a major party. The Republican message has been one that divides. The Democratic message will be one that unites and moves us forward. Reed told us what Rhode Islanders can expect. Policy about the future, about uh, showcasing uh, Hillary Clinton as the best prepared individual to be our president. Now, Senator Reid left our interview to go meet up with Senator Tim Kaine, who just arrived in Newport moments ago to fundraise. Kaine is considered a frontrunner to be Hillary Clinton's VP pick.